Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna show you how you can install the NVIDIA DLSS 3.0 plugin for Unreal Engine 5.2. DLSS can help you boost your performance in Unreal Engine, and with the new DLSS frame generation feature, you can actually even double your frame rate. And so here I have a few examples to show you guys the results of DLSS 3.0 with frame generation. So check this out. We are in the Valley of the Ancient demo, and we're getting about, you know, 70 to 80 FPS. And this is in 4K, by the way, and on a RTX 4090. So I already have DLSS 3.0 enabled, but when I click on this little checkbox, this will enable the frame generation. So look at this. Right now we're getting you know 70 to 80 FPS. As soon as I hit this checkbox, look at that. We can get up to 150 FPS. So we nearly doubled our frame rate. And also we have the Electric Dreams demo which even on my 4090 and in 4K, we're getting about you know 40 to 50 frames a second, which is, I mean, it's very resource intensive in this scene because of how dense the foliage is all around us. I mean, you have all the different trees and foliage casting shadows, it's all enabled with Nanite. But when I enable DLSS frame generation, you can see that it almost doubles our FPS. We have up to 90, even reaching up to 100 FPS, which is just insane. Now, I know this kind of sounds like magic where I can just hit a little checkbox and nearly double my frame rate, but this new technology uses machine learning to basically calculate what the next frame will look like based on the previous frame, and it does this calculation every other frame, which essentially doubles your frame rate at no extra cost. Now, I will be making a full comparison video showcasing DLSS 3.0 versus, you know, without it, but in this video, I want to show you how you can actually install the DLSS 3.0 plugin inside of Unreal Engine 5.2. Now, before we get into the video, I want to really quickly tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. We create things like an inventory system, crafting system, an open world map that uses PCG to procedurally spawn all the foliage on the map, complete building system, harvesting system. There's over 50 plus hours of course content. So head over to smartpoly.teachable.com and get an early access discount on the course. The price of the course will be raised later on so make sure you don't miss out so check the link in the description below or head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more now just note there are some requirements to actually run dlss you have to have i think an rtx gpu and windows 10 64 bit so there are a couple of different requirements that you need in order to use it but to download the plugin you want to head over to the link in the description below and it will take you to the dlss3 website on you know, NVIDIA's developer portal. So you scroll all the way down until you find the you know, download DLSS for Unreal Engine plugin. So it's gonna show you the system requirements. So you have to have, you know, Windows 10, 64-bit, NVIDIA RTX GPU. And then you also wanna make sure that you update your drivers. So you want to go ahead and update your graphics card drivers. And then it shows the compatible engine version. So Unreal Engine 5.2. Now you just scroll down a little bit further, click the agree to the terms. And then you want to download the Unreal Engine 5.2 download. Click that, and we'll go ahead and download the plugin. So once you've downloaded the plugin, it will come in a zip file, so just unzip the file. And inside of there, we have actual plugins and samples. So to install the plugin to your Unreal Engine version, you want to go to wherever you have Unreal Engine installed. In my case, I have it on a different hard drive in my Unreal install folder, but if you just had it installed to the default location, It'll be in your C drive, program files, Epic Games, and it'll be you know, Unreal Engine 5.2 right inside there. So inside a UE5 5.2 folder, you want to go to Engine and then into the Plugins folder. And then you want to look for the folder called the Marketplace. So if you don't have this folder, you want to go ahead and create it. So you just want to right click, create a new folder and name it Marketplace with a capital M Then open that up. And inside of there, you wanna right click, create a new folder and call this NVIDIA. And double click, open that up. Then open up the DLSS plugin that we've downloaded. And so we should have in here a plugins folder. So you just wanna take all of the plugins here and copy and paste it into your Unreal Engine 5.2 engine plugins marketplace NVIDIA folder, okay? So we have the plugins installed. So now that we have the plugins installed, the next thing that you wanna do is go into your settings. So search for Windows settings and go into system. And under the system, you wanna to go to display settings, scroll all the way down, go to graphic settings. And you wanna make sure that you have hardware accelerating GPU scheduling enabled. 
So you just want to click that little checkbox. If you haven't enabled this, it will go ahead and ask you to restart your computer. So just go ahead and restart. And then of course you want to make sure you have the latest up to date uh, NVIDIA drivers. Then you want to go ahead and open up any Unreal Engine project that you have. In my case, I'll open up the city sample project. And once you're inside your project, you want to go to edit plugins and in the plugins, you want to search for NVIDIA and we have the NVIDIA plugins installed. So you can see that we have NVIDIA DLSS frame generation, super resolution and NVIDIA NIS. There's also one other plugin that you can add, which is for, you know, the movie renderer. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and enable all three of these plugins. So NVIDIA NIS, DLSS super resolution and DLSS frame generation. Okay, so now I'll just click restart now. And now it should be running DLSS 3.0 inside of our project. We can test this out by opening up, you know, one of the different maps. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And we actually can't see that it's running right now because it doesn't have any sort of indicator or on-screen display that shows that, you know, NVIDIA DLSS 3.0 is running. There's one way that we can check, which is if we go ahead and press the tilde key, type in stat GPU, and this will show us that we have you know, DLSS right here running. So we know that it's running and enabled inside of our project. Now the other thing is the frame generation. So in order to enable the frame generation, we're going to have to add the on-screen display from the sample project. I think there is a console command to enable it, but I'm not sure what it is yet. So the plugin folder, if you go to the downloads in the samples, we have a test project that you can actually open up and check out. And if you open up this project and hit play inside of it, you can see that it comes with this you know, on-screen display widget. And so we're gonna copy this over into whatever project that we have you know, DLSS enabled in. So the way that we'll do that is inside of that plugins folder, so in the samples, DLSS test, inside of this Unreal Engine project, in the content, in the blueprints, we're gonna copy this blueprints folder, so copy that. And then in our city sample project or whichever project that you wanna copy it to, you wanna right click the project in your Epic Games Launcher, click Show in Folder. That will show you where the content is located on your hard drive. So then we just navigate to the Content Folder and we can just copy this Blueprints folder. So copy that and paste it inside of this Content Folder. And we'll go ahead and add that. And then if we open up the project, we should now have that little widget inside of here. So in our Blueprints UI, we have that little widget. All we need to do is add it to the screen so whichever level that you're going to open up so for example i'm going to open up a map that i want to run so say i want to run the small city level if i open that up and now that i have it open you want to go into the level blueprint to add it so click on this little icon up here and click open level blueprint all you have to do to add that little widget is off the event begin play do a create widget and then search for the widget which is called ngx so Blueprint widget underscore NGX, then off of the return value, do a add to viewport. Okay, and so that will add our little, our NVIDIA DLSS widget. You want to expand this add to viewport. We're gonna set the Z order to three, just so that it's in the front of everything else. So compile, save that. And then you want to go ahead and do play in a new editor window and hit play. And if we make this full screen, you can see that we now have our little DLSS window. So if you press shift F1, that will give you your cursor and then we can change things like the settings. So right now this is in 4K. So I want to set this to 4K and set the upscaling. Currently it's set to NVIDIA DLSS and under the DLSS quality, you can choose between the different quality settings. So we can get quality, ultra performance, and that will change the upscaling. Now under the frame generation, if you click this little checkbox, you can see my frame rate went from you know 80 FPS to 130. So I can press shift F1 and disable it. You can see I'm getting you know about 70 FPS and this is the city small level. So I can test it out with the larger level. As you can see with frame generation, it adds in that extra frame that's being generated. So we're getting around you know 130, 140 FPS. Now frame generation is only currently supported for 
40 series cards so but it's crazy to see these demos running in at you know nearly double the frame rate that you're originally getting in 4k you know without having to do any sort of tricks or optimization or anything you just hit a little checkbox and and it does its magic now that is how you can get up and running with the unreal engine 5.2 dlss 3.0 plugin i'll be showing you guys a complete comparison video of some of the different unreal engine demos like valley of the ancient the electric dreams demo and city sample with and without dlss and frame generation and if you guys have any other sample projects that you think i should test out let me know down in the comments down below. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.